back here at home with all the recent violence around Indy, Mayor Joe Hogsett says it's time to make our city streets safer. Yeah, safety is just one of the many things that the mayor says he wants to work on with his budget plan for the new year. Mary Mills is breaking down some of the key issues that were talked about last night. Mary. Well, that's right. With the city just reaching 100 homicides this year, fighting crime is a top priority. Now, one way the mayor wants to address that is putting more officers on the streets, which will allow, he says, IMPD to expand its police beats and better connect with the community. Uh, the mayor's budget also calls for funding two new recruit classes with a net gain of 31 new officers next year. And he wants to invest in new technology aimed at not just preventing crime, but helping police better pursue criminals. We will also continue to bolster data-driven policing as this budget proposes investing millions in new anti-crime technology, including cameras and license plate scanners to improve real-time enforcement against violent criminals. And the mayor's budget also calls for beefing up the staff of animal care and control, providing more funding for mental health and addiction treatment, and demolishing or rehabbing more than 2,000 vacant and blighted homes in the city. Obviously, this will all have to be approved by the council after going through several public hearings. Coming up at 6 today, something the council did vote on. We're going to tell you why they declared gun violence a public health threat. Ben and Ann. All right, Mary, thank you. By the way, the mayor also wants to spend more money on our infrastructure. His proposed plan includes putting $126 million toward resurfacing streets and fixing bridges and sidewalks. The budget would also set aside money for a new street maintenance crew to make repairs during the winter.